Hey guys, welcome back to Notorious Crafts. Today I have a little bit of a different video. I usually hand make my miniatures, but I got this set as a gift, so I will be unboxing these. So I had actually not heard of mini brands before, but it is a bunch of miniatures and they are all Disney toy themed. So it combines some of my two favorite things, miniatures and Disney. The back of the box shows some of the different kinds of miniatures that we can get. There's a large variety from like Disney princesses, some Pixar, Star Wars. So I'm really excited to unbox this and see what we get. I don't know which ones I'll be getting, and for those of you who are new to my channel, I hand make so many miniatures and I have a lot of those videos up on my channel. So be sure to check some of those out and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I did get this set as a gift, but I have seen these for sale at Target. So I'll put a link down below to where you guys can buy them directly from Target. All right, so I have a total of eight of these, and I think each one of these has five miniatures inside. So let's try to unwrap these. It looks like it has a little perforation. Oh, I should have not gotten a manicure right before this. I might end up chipping my nails on this. Okay, it looks like there's a little tab and these open up. And yep, just like I thought, five, there's going to be five miniatures. Now I just need to get each one of these little slices open. Okay, opening up my first one. Oh, okay, I got a little Star Wars box, but it is empty inside. Interesting. But the box is very detailed, but it doesn't seem like there's anything inside of it, though. Okay, let's see what this next one is. And I got... Toy Story. Oh, it's like a little Toy Story bag. Oh, this is so cute. I love this detail. Wow. I really love Toy Story. So this is adorable. And it looks like it has some... Oh, okay. There's Woody and Buzz on the side. All right, we're going to move on to the next miniature. And for the next toy, we have Spider-Man. He is very detailed. So it's supposed to be like a little miniature action figure. And it doesn't seem like he can come outside of the box. I think he's like glued inside. All right, for this next one, we have the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Hopefully I can also get Belle. That would be really cute to be able to have both of them together. And now the very last one in this ball. Oh, we got Ariel from The Little Mermaid. I love Ariel. This is really cute. It looks like a little miniature doll version of Ariel, but... Again, the detail is amazing on this. And it looks like there's just a little piece of paper inside this. Um, okay, it's a collector's guide. So this will show us all the different little toys that we can get. And here are some ultra rare ones and some of the common ones. So I'm guessing we'll find a lot of these common ones. But there's a lot on here. Hopefully I can get a lot of them and I will not get too many duplicates. All right, time to open up the next one. Okay, I'm really struggling with opening these without ruining my nails. If you guys have some tips on opening these, let me know down below in the comments. Okay, got it open. Now let's see what we have inside of these. Okay, and in this one, we have a little action figure. It's Black Widow. Okay, great. I absolutely loved this movie. So this is a really cool one to get. And this next one is already open, but it is a little phone. It's a little mini phone. I love the color. These are just so cute. These have a lot of packaging. I'm probably going to end up with more packaging than miniatures by the end of this. And this one is a little... Oh, okay. It's Woody from Toy Story, but it looks like he fell outside of the box. I think some of the glue came undone. Let's see if we can put him back inside and hopefully he does not fall out again. This one feels like it has a little bit of weight to it. It feels a little bit heavier than the others. Oh, it's a little tiny Tinkerbell doll. This one is so adorable. I am just amazed by the detail on these. And this is the last one from the second ball and it is another box okay there's nothing inside this one but i do like how detailed the box is but i wish there would have been something inside that would have just made it so much more cool 
And again, we have another collector's guide. I think each ball comes with one of these. And this is just the waist from two balls. This is a lot more than I thought. I'm not sure what to do with these. And on to our third ball, I have a pair of scissors. So I'm going to use these to help me open them because I do not want to spend money on getting another manicure. And in this one, we have what looks like a little tiny princess. Oh, this is Rapunzel. Oh, this is so pretty. It looks like it's a miniature Rapunzel Barbie doll. And it looks like the dress even has a very pretty design on it. I really love this one. I hope I get some more of the Disney princess dolls. These so far are my favorite. So hopefully I can get some more in some of these other sets. And in this one, I'm not exactly sure what this is. It looks like it's something I have to put together. Um, perhaps a little shelf. Um, okay, I'll put this on the side for now and figure it out a little bit later. And in this next slice, we have a little car. Oh, this must be from Cars. It's Lightning McQueen. Oh, I love the movie Cars. I'm a big Pixar fan, so I'm excited that I'm also getting some little Pixar toys. And this next one is, oh, it's another Woody. Okay, so this is our first duplicate. Hopefully we don't have too many duplicates in all of these sets. And this is the last one from our third ball. And this one is a, oh, this is a Snow White doll. How cute. If you guys follow me, you guys know I just made a whole series of miniatures based on the Snow White movie. I'm also planning on hand making a lot more Disney themed miniatures. So be sure to subscribe so you guys can see how I hand make some miniatures as well. And on to our fourth ball. I already took off the packaging and didn't record because it was a struggle again for me for some reason. Now let's see what is in this set. And we'll open up the first one. And inside we have an action figure. Okay, this looks like a golden stormtrooper. Okay, I think this one is one of the rare ones. Let's pull up the collector's guide and see. Yep. Okay, we finally have one of the ultra rare ones. I'm curious how many of these I will get. Hopefully I can get at least a couple more of them. And let's see what we have here. It looks like it's a Spider-Man mask. You know, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all of these miniatures yet. I got this entire set as a gift, so let me know what you guys end up doing with all of your mini brand miniatures. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with these. And we have another box. Okay, so this is our next duplicate. I'm not too crazy so far about these boxes. I love all the little action figures and the dolls. Definitely the Disney princess dolls are my favorite. I really want to get some more of them. Let's see what this one is. It is Bo Peep from Toy Story. Hopefully I can get a full set of all the Toy Story characters. These are really cute. And in this next one, we have, oh, it's a little Cinderella doll. Oh, I love this one. I'm so happy I'm getting some more of the Disney princesses. I love her dress. Look at that design. Oh, I hope I can get a full set of the Disney princess ones. Ideally, I would love to get one of each, but definitely I want one of each from the Disney princess collection. And we are on to the fifth ball. And this next one looks like we have another Spider-Man. Oh, wait, no, this is Captain Marvel. Okay, not another duplicate. We don't have another Spider-Man. So another one to add to the Marvel collection. In this little slice, we have, oops. Um, okay, a Star Wars one. It's a Stormtrooper. Last time I got a gold one, but this one is a white one. And in this one, it looks like we have another shelf set. Okay, I'll put this aside and put it together later. In this one, it looks like we have another Woody. Wow, I already have three of these. I'd love to get some different ones from Toy Story and not just a bunch of Woodies. Oh wow, it looks like my wish was just granted. I have Buzz Lightyear. How funny is that? I just asked for more Toy Story. Ask and you shall receive. On to the next ball. And of course, it doesn't want to open right now. 
and it looks like in this one we have another bo peep maybe i'll have enough bo peeps to go with each woody and this looks like it's a bow okay so it looks like this is from marvel if one of you guys know which character this is from let me know down below in the comments I like watching Marvel movies, but they're not some of my favorites. I prefer some of the classic Disney. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are the same, but if I had to choose, I always go with some of the classic Disney movies. These just don't like opening smoothly for me. I don't know why. Okay, we have another beast. Another one to add to the Beauty and the Beast collection. Still no bell. Hopefully I can get at least one bell in this set. And this one looks like another Star Wars character. Okay, this is C-3PO. It looks like a rare because it's gold, but I don't see it on the ultra rare list. I guess C-3PO, that's his original color, so I guess he's not one of the rare ones. And it looks like we have Darth Vader. This is really detailed. I love the quality of these. I am a big Star Wars fan, so I'm happy to get some of the Star Wars mini toys. Okay, now we are on to the next ball. Hopefully we can get some good ones inside this. And we have one of the little aliens from Toy Story. I'm happy I have another one to add to the Toy Story collection since we have quite a bit of those. Still no Disney princesses. Let's see what else we can get in this last ball. And another Black Widow. Okay, a duplicate. We'll put this on the side and keep moving on. It's another Lightning McQueen. Okay, another duplicate. We're starting to get a lot of duplicates. Hopefully there's not too many more and I get some unique ones. And it looks like it's another Tinkerbell. I actually don't mind getting a duplicate of this one. I wouldn't mind getting duplicates of some of the Disney Princess ones just because they are my favorite. And this one looks like it's another car. Oh no, it's Mickey inside of a car. How cute. I don't have too many from the Minnie and Mickey sets yet, so this is a nice one to have. And we're on to the very last mini brand ball. Hopefully this one has some unique ones, ones that I do not have duplicates of. And in this first one, we have another Lightning McQueen. All right, I already have three of those. And this one is, oops. Ah, uh, it looks like it is Thor's hammer. Okay, this is very cool. And we have another bag, it looks like. Okay, this one is a Disney princess bag. I like this one. I'm glad I didn't get duplicates of the bags. It looks like it's a little Disney store shopping bag. That's very cute. Maybe I can put some of the miniatures inside this. And in this one, it looks like we have another box and another duplicate. We'll just put this aside with all the other Star Wars ones. And the very last one, let's see what we've got. And what is this? It looks like, okay, a little tiny camera maybe with all the Disney princesses. Very cute. At least it wasn't a duplicate from my very last one. And here's how all of the mini brand Disney toys look up close. I am really impressed with all the detail. I'm not too happy about some of the boxes and getting duplicates of those boxes just because there's nothing inside. It'd be nice if they put at least something inside the boxes. And now I'm just going to organize everything by theme and putting some of the duplicates together. So just enjoy me organizing these for the next minute.
So I put all of the Disney princess dolls together, all of the Marvel toys, the Toy Story ones, the Star Wars, all together so you guys can get a better picture of each one that I got. And this is all of the trash that eight of these mini brand balls produces. If you guys know what to do with some of these plastic shells and how to reuse them, let me know down below in the comments because this feels like such a waste just throwing them out. I would obviously recycle them, but let me know if you guys have a use for them. And I almost forgot about the shelf. Um, I kind of put it to the side and forgot as I was so excited about all the miniatures I got. So time to put this little shelf together. It's supposed to be, I think, a Disney store shelf. That is really cute. I always loved the Disney store growing up. Actually, the Disney store by me closed down. I actually don't know of any Disney stores still around. I always thought that Disney was such a profitable company, so it's just so shocking to see all the stores close down. Um, let me know if you guys know of any that are open. I know they still have their online store. I've bought some things from there. Maybe it was last year. But it's still not the same. I miss going into the actual Disney store. And now we can fill these shelves with some toys. It doesn't look like many of the toys will fit. Like maybe one or two toys per shelf. I'm going to need a lot more shelves to be able to fill up an entire Disney store. Some of these boxes are too big to even go on these shelves. So not much will fit on them. I think I will buy some more of these Disney mini brand toys. I want to complete my collection. So stay tuned for some more Disney mini brand videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next video.